Which is it? Seven or three and a half future years left to be fulfilled in Daniel 9, 24 through 27. The ninth chapter of Daniel contained the most important verses that deal with prophecy in the entire Bible. The prophet Daniel, who is now in his late 80s, was part of the Jewish captivity that took place in 606 B.C. when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon invaded Jerusalem. In verse 2 it says, Daniel understood by books the number of years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Now, since Daniel was a teenager in 606 B.C., he knew these 70 years were getting ready to come to an end. This is why Daniel is now making supplication and prayers to the Lord and interceding, wanting to know what's going to happen to him and his people because he knew this 70-year Babylonian captivity would be ending very soon. It says in verse 4 that Daniel made this great prayer and supplication to the Lord because he knew that the Lord would honor the covenant that he had made with Abraham and he was approaching God on that basis that he would be merciful according to that covenant. Then in verses 16 and 17, Daniel says, O Lord, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger and thy fury be turned away from thy city Jerusalem, thy holy mountain, because for our sins and for the iniquities of our fathers, Jerusalem and thy people are become a reproach to all that are about us. Now therefore, O our God, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplications, and cause thy face to shine upon thy sanctuary that is desolate, for the Lord's sake. Therefore, this entire ninth chapter is concerning the desolations of Jerusalem, the Jews, and the coming of their Messiah, who will confirm and strengthen the Abrahamic covenant. As Daniel was finishing his prayer in verses 20 through 21, we find the angel Gabriel was dispatched from heaven to give Daniel skill and understanding of what shall befall his people after the 70 years of the Jewish captivity in Babylon would soon expire. In response to Daniel's request, the angel Gabriel gave Daniel the vision of the 70 weeks in verses 24 through 27, which continued to desolate Jerusalem and the Jews seven times longer than Jeremiah's 70 years that were getting ready to come to an end, for a total of an additional 490 years. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah, the Prince, shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Now this vision of the 70 weeks given to Daniel by the angel Gabriel is the most important prophetic teaching in the Word of God. Clarence Larkin, an important 20th century prophetic author, says the following concerning Daniel 9, 24 through 27. This vision of the 70 weeks is the most important revelation in many ways made in the scriptures. It is not only an interpretation of prophetic chronology, but is the key that unlocks the scripture of truth. The 1944 classic book, The Secrets of Prophecy, states, Daniel 9, 24 through 27 is the mold of prophecy, and it is the key to all subsequent prophetic truth. John Walvert, author of the book Daniel, the Key to Prophetic Revelation, said, Daniel 9, 24 through 27 is the backbone of prophecy. Therefore, since the vision of the 70 weeks found in Daniel 9, 24 through 27 is the mold, the backbone, and the key to all prophetic truth, is it possible Satan has attacked the small but strategic portion of Scripture and altered your end-time view by replacing scriptural truth with men's traditional teachings? Or in other words, has Satan switched the keys, the key of knowledge, the Bible, with his key, 
the key of men's traditional teachings, which is not always the truth. I'm now going to give you the scriptural view of the vision of the 70 weeks in Daniel 9, 24 through 27, and ask you to be like Bereans and see if these things be not so. Now, a Jewish week is seven years, so 70 weeks of years, or seven times 70, is 490 years. Therefore, 490 years have been set aside in history to accomplish these seven goals in Daniel 9, 24. To finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up the vision, to seal up the prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Daniel 9.25 states that Daniel should know and understand that from the going forth of the commandment unto Messiah the Prince should be 69 weeks or 483 years. Now the word Messiah or Christ means anointed. Therefore, when was Jesus anointed with the Spirit of God? According to the Word of God, it was at Christ's baptism, which is the start of his three and a half year public ministry. Now, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. And Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age. Therefore, there are 69 weeks, or 483 years, until Messiah's baptism. Now Daniel 9.26 states, and after the 69 weeks shall Messiah be cut off. So the question is, how long after Christ's baptism was the crucifixion? It was three and a half years or a half of a week. Therefore, 69 and a half weeks of the 70 weeks of Daniel have already been fulfilled at the cross, leaving only a half week or three and a half years to be fulfilled sometime in the future. My question is, of a truth so vitally important, is there any other verses in the Bible that back this up? 1 Corinthians 13, 1 says, In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. The answer is unequivocally yes. John 1, it says, He first findeth his own brother Simon, and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. And in John 4, 25 through 26, it states, the woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. So those two verses in John confirm the fact that Messiah was anointed at the baptism at the beginning of Christ's three and a half year ministry. Now the final three and a half years of the 70 weeks of Daniel, which is the second half of Daniel's 70th week, has been set aside and called the Great Tribulation in Matthew 24, 21. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. So in conclusion, the first half of Daniel's 70th week was fulfilled during Christ's earthly ministry, leaving the second half to be fulfilled sometime in the future after 2007 A.D. This is why this future time of three and a half years set aside for Jacob's trouble or the Great Tribulation is referred to as time, times, and a half time, 1260 days, or 42 months. And the seven-year tribulation period is never mentioned once in the entire Bible. So now what happens to the pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation, and post-tribulation rapture theories if there is no seven-year tribulation period to base them on? These false theories simply vanish into thin air and are replaced with the truth contained in the pre-wrath rapture according to 1 Thessalonians 5, 1 through 9, where Paul says we are not appointed unto wrath, that's the wrath of God in verse 9, which will occur between the opening of the sixth and seventh seals in Revelation 6, 17 through 8, 1, as in the days of Lot. Now the final segment of the Daniel Scope of Prophecy series will be entitled Christ is the He in Daniel 9.27 who confirmed the Abrahamic covenant. Nowhere in the Bible does it say the Antichrist confirms anything, let alone a seven-year peace covenant with Israel. However, in Romans 15.8 and Galatians 3.17, it states Jesus the Messiah was the one that confirmed the covenant. Now please don't be deceived. Jesus is the He in Daniel 9.27 and not Antichrist.